posture exercise to use is called a wall angel exercise. It's it's very nice uh, thing to do because it takes advantage of the uh, deep neck flexors and the upper back extensors and the abdominal muscles, and it starts to have you use those muscles with the body in this vertical format. So there's two or three variations of a wall angel that you can do. Uh, you start out standing with your back against the wall, and you want a relatively, obviously, a flat wall without a chair rail. If you don't have one of those in your house, if you have a, a wide enough doorway, you could do this against the door, or do it standing with your back in the door frame. But you start out standing against the wall. Your feet can be uh, six or eight inches out from the wall. Soften your knees a little bit. And you want to flatten, start by flattening your low back as flat as you can get it against the wall. Now, some of my folks with an extreme sway back, they actually have to lean out a little bit, shove the lower back as far in there as they can get it, then keeping that flat, get your head back on the wall with the chin down so you're looking straight ahead. So once you're here, some people get plenty of exercise just in this position. Um, we can add to that by keeping the arms straight and raising the arms over your head as far as they'll go without pulling off the wall. If you can get them straight and get them all the way back to the wall, you get a good stretch in here, but we're also trying to take those curves in the back and completely reverse them. Because if you can completely reverse them, when you relax, they'll come back to a more neutral position that stacks the parts up. So straight arm position is good. Uh, another version is having the arms at a 90-90 position to start, keeping the back flat, and then rotate the backs of the arms up to the wall. So that can also be a good stretch. Uh, people with uh, a little bit of bursitis might not like this particular version, so they might want to do the straight arm version. Uh, if I get somebody who's really, really bent, they might not be able to get their head back to the wall. So I'll just tell them to keep the chin tucked, push the head back as far as they can comfortably. They might still have a gap, but as long as they're looking straight ahead, fine. And then, then raise the arms up as far as they'll go straight without pulling off the wall. So some people might only get to about here and that's all they can tolerate. Um, if need be, you could bring the feet out more, bend the knees more to help get the back flat. Uh, some of my folks that are really deconditioned and really poor posture will do a seated wall angel. So if you had just a regular kitchen chair, you would turn it sideways so the back of the chair is here. That allows you to push your back into the wall, get your head back as far as it'll go, and again, raise the arms up as far as it will go comfortably and without pulling your back off the wall. So again, this would be something to do if you spend a long day at a computer or something that keeps you bent over for extended periods. This is a nice thing to do several times during the day to start loosening things up. You'd hold those positions for 15, 20 seconds uh, and always do them in a way that's comfortable. This also enhances, again, the use of the deep neck flexors, the upper back extensors, the abdominals. It makes all this stuff work in a vertical format. Very good exercise to do.